hey guys welcome back and thank you for clicking if you're new here welcome my name is lillian and here is my beautiful guest and her name is amarachi what's it <laughs> fun beautiful amazing personality bubbling personality hey, building oh today shit. that's so nice I was not supposed to put her on the hot seat, but guys, mm. I want to. So she's here today at my mercy. Like I told you guys, I have been interviewing people that have put their own countries behind them to move to Ghana. I want to see Ghana through their eyes, and here is one of them. So welcome to the channel, Amara. How long have you been in Ghana for? I've been in Ghana like four years plus. Yeah, four years, approximately four years. Four, four years. Your daughter it's here. It's actually four years now because my daughter is four years now. So oh. I, I was in Ghana. I, I came in in Ghana before I got pregnant. For so it's, uh, it's even going to five years. Oh, wow. What was your first impression of Ghana and Ghanaians the very time you came? Okay, impression about Ghana, like Ghana is calm. Then Ghanaians are also calm people as well. All right, every everybody that comes from Nigeria, this is actually the first thing you got to notice. Okay, so they always want to stay to themselves, mm. then watch you and see if you are someone they can relate to before they release themselves. That kind of thing. So, coming from a country like ours, where we have a lot of people with diverse, you know, culture and stuff like that, different behavior, good and bad, anyhow you want it, we have it. Coming from there to a place that is you know laid back how was it how did you feel about that initially i found it difficult oh my god i find it difficult don't forget that now i'm outgoing you know associating with people and all that but one thing that actually helped me is my husband okay my husband has stayed here for a longer period and and he speaks to me and it kind of makes things easy for me somehow but that's that's for him like mm. for me it's not my life right mm. so i have to create my own life like create the kind of environment that i want so i still have to, i struggled so yeah you struggled eh? i struggled mm. and being that i came in and i i got pregnant immediately, immediately. so mm. Mm. it was it was, it was it was not it was not an easy thing but first time i start going out was um hospital at nine house oh. and like <laughs> you got to meet this woman I, I, and this is actually yeah. your first time of interacting with girls. yes you know <laughs> that story are you long <laughs> and you'll be like oh, where is lost this? I'm saying we'll stay we'll be at um at the hall, you know, where they they'll come and make some announcements. Mm. Ah, see Mugu like me. Ah, my understanding what they are saying. And people will start standing up. I say, hey, ah, you just... I'll carry my bag to uh, follow them. <laughs> and <laughs> at the end of the day it will be like the, the, there are some kinds of people. There are people that they are expecting. Okay. Me, as I know here within the talk, I follow them, they'll go. Uh -uh. But yeah, it wasn't really easy, but now everything you're yeah. picking up gradually you speak a bit of tree a little bit you speak those, tree yeah kakra kakra <laughs> helped me is business right okay being that my husband is already in business here mm. when i came i joined mm. so i started interacting interact, yeah, with people with so it's stuff. one of the things that actually helped me so i won't even say coming to Ghana, locating to ghana have been that difficult, difficult. Okay. yeah just for my own side it's my because i'm on, i'm not always with my husband of course so mm. i have to do my thing sometimes so honestly do you enjoy living in ghana I enjoy living in Ghana for the past two years, but <laughs> right now <laughs> I don't enjoy it. Again. Okay, okay, I can guess, I can guess. Like Ghana has been so wonderful. I I can't lie, like I can't lie. You, you can see it through my videos. Okay? okay, I'm pouring my heart through my videos. But right now in Ghana, I'm I'm also here to complain. Like mm. it's no longer you have, enjoyable. Right, you have right to it's complain. No longer, it's we no longer it's, complain. It's, it's no okay? longer enjoyable. Okay, okay. but. We still move. We believe. Yeah. We hope. We, we hope. Yeah, for yeah. We are Ghana. hopeful that something great will still will happen. Bounce back, you know. It's definitely, and it's, it's not. It, it, for when it comes to business people, now it's like, uh, what is it a called? Trying time. A trying time for for every, us. Every yeah, every <laughs> businessman. I, I can say in overall, Ghana has been wonderful. Okay. Mm. Have you been to any other region apart from the Greater Accra region? 
But I have not. Really? I have not. <laughs> what should I do to her? Just say. It's only a crap. <laughs> See, I watch, I watch, I watch uh, videos with um. Boom! It just it Jumi. Eh, Jumi Maduka. She was, Jumi she was Maduka. mentioning places. She was mentioning eh. places. I hmm. was like, Ah, Amara, you, you are done. See, I have not really had that freedom. Mm. It's not like because we get it. We get it. I have a four-year-old daughter, mm. and I don't have. Immediately you came to Ghana, you exactly. took in straight up. I don't have a help mm -mm. from mm. that first time up till now. It's just three of us she my husband and i and then okay the the time that i've started to like be free a little bit mm. is when she started schooling and during the school hours i can just use that period you, you're to not do. free yet yeah yeah but and then you get to secondary school and then you're still thinking of school runs you're still timing mm -hmm. yourself so i've not really had time to move around in as much as is in one of mm. my it's one of the things that you, i, I want to do you want to i just want to tell you it's normal okay mm. for me i'm I'm able to travel i'm able to just live my you know that leads life now nah. <laughs> it's all made possible because i have help yeah, okay i have exactly. someone that helps me exactly. okay i'm not important. a superwoman if i didn't have my niece here or at my uh, if i didn't have my younger sister living with me at some point exactly. i would have been my case would have been worst mm. Because even the market here, I couldn't have been able to go. Right. Because in your case, you can just tell your husband, please, honey, um, baby is back from school. Look at her. I want to quickly run to the uh, mm. market. In my case, mm. I wouldn't have been, no one to say, okay, watch, you get it. Another so, thing that is, my husband is, is, is a very business minded person. We Grabbing him out is very difficult. And even if you have a place that you want to, he would look at his business and mm. oh, live in this place. You know, those evil <laughs> men, they love money. Uh, so, how much are you going to make me, from that place I, when you go there? Now, mm. I, is this place we are going, is it going to bring money? Exactly. You know, those calculations. But I've also learned that something, everything is not about money. You just make out time to do something right okay. yeah so in the few coming years yeah. I, I will do better right our local Ghanaian dishes here yeah. have you been trying it? which one is your favorite if you have I, my favorite is live soup. I know if you're someone that has been on my channel, you will know that live soup is my number one, okay? I love live soup, and this is because my husband loves live soup, okay? Mm. When I came here, that was the first food that, the first Ghanaian dishes that I tested was light soup and fufu. And my husband loves it, so I, don't, I think I've been saying my husband, my husband, let me tell <laughs> Okay, I love I come for you. Uh, that kind of thing. My husband, I beg, please, when next I'm saying that on my channel, it's not you that I'm referring to. <laughs> It's natural with African women, you know. Another thing is because, you know, this had it been maybe, I'm in Nigeria, we married mm. in Nigeria, it wouldn't have been like that, but because you move there, you can, you're kind of his dependent. It's exactly. Every, everything you are yes. doing is something that you learn from him. So exactly. that's why, so you people should not come from me, okay? Mm. It's, it's not, we say husband, I'm not, I'm, every time I'm husband. Not my husband, my husband, my husband kind of person, but because we are talking about Ghana, and when it comes to Ghana, he's like the number one person here that every okay. And the second is watching. Okay. I love I love Wache and what again. I've tried Wache. Wache is like that one is mm, not trying again. It's now part of us, right? Because it was easy. It's easy from for us from yeah, Nigeria to, to eat rice and beans. Exactly. You know? I've tried a lot of when it comes to Ghanaian dishes. I've tried so many, but yeah. So my favorite are just light that soup, light soup and fufu and Wache. Oh wow! Okay, nice choice. So now we are getting deeper. What do, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about Ghanaians? I'm not talking about the audience on YouTube. I'm talking about the Ghanaian you deal with one on one on a daily basis. What do you have to say about a Ghanaian? Okay, about Ghanaians, there's something I've realized about Ghanaians, right? Mm. Especially someone that is coming from Nigeria. You don't expect us to be at the same pace when it comes to how we see things or how we socialize. Um, Ghanaians are just there, okay? Mm. They are just there. They are these people don't come, don't cross my space. That mm. kind of mm. stay on your lane. Let me stay on my lane. When you have something to do with you, then you can't. Mm. Avoid. Yeah. So Ghanaians are like like that okay mm. so but there is something that i've realized or something okay. that I, about ghanians is, okay. it, is it nigerians we we can joke there are these deep jokes mm. like we, we crack each other see your face ah, don't do that don't do example. that don't try that in ghana <laughs> like some yeah some ghanians are 
they they do insult. Yeah, they they do insult. Mm, all those uh, mm. hey, what's that? Yeah. What's yeah, all those ones are insults now. But and there's the there's the way the Nigerians will curse ourselves like you can't go. Uh, you are cra crazy, yeah, crazy, and yeah, and we will smile mm. about it. <laughs> I beg, don't try it. Like, it's not for everybody, right? Mm. There are some people, but they are Ghanaians live yeah. live kind of um uh, what was it Western a reserved, a, a reserved life lifestyle. They, they they just focus on their goals. They just want to go do their business or do their work and come back. Don't, don't, they don't like drama. They don't like drama. They just want to be. <laughs> and we too, Nigerians, that's why they call us loud. Like, mm, like Because you want to associate. If, let me confess. Okay, <laughs> I have two neighbors. This is one of them. She's Ghanaian. And I have another neighbor who is French. Mm -hmm. So school vacated at some point. The next thing, I didn't see these people. Mm -hmm. I was angry. You, uh, guess why I was angry? What? I said, Nigerian, why are you angry? You that? don't come knock for my daughter. You don't come. Travel. <laughs> You for come knock. Say, I don't the travel. This is how we roll. Yeah. That is how loud yeah. we are in Nigeria. We come back. Hey, but now I see that okay, it's um it's not knock. the person will knock like saying that two of now they get something on the door. I'm Mama. traveling. Oh. You know, you know, Nigerians, we are that kind of I don't I don't want to say uh, is it brother's keeper or mm. something. We are so even if it's in a hostel, you see students. Yeah, they, they, they have that rapport, but I'm not saying that there's another no, like that. But well, you know that even that that um looking out uh, out looking for out each other, each it other. still have bad side. Yes, you know? yes, it does. Because that is when somebody is able to hurt you. Exactly. Because they know a lot about about what's up with you. You understand? Yeah. They know when you have something in that house. And I think when when we look at the other side of Ghanaians' lifestyle, I mm. think these are the the importance of like the advantage of what they are doing. You cut a lot of things boundaries boundaries so you just they don't like you crossing that boundary exactly we are neighbors, but you, mm. you you shouldn't know my yeah i won't whereabouts. go home without telling you exactly it's exactly it's you know when i i didn't get angry again another of our neighbor who is in the other building mm -hmm. came knocking and she stood here for more than 10 minutes knocking she was so frustrated knocking so i kept quiet for a while because she did not greet me so I didn't want to talk. You know now, you know how I, I, you know how the thing yeah. be now. <laughs> when she kept on knocking, I started to feel guilty within me, and I said, "Okay, um, madam, sorry, they are not around. They traveled." Oh, she was like, "Really?" So then I didn't. I I I no longer got offended. Like I felt okay, so I'm not alone. Okay. They didn't tell us. It's other not people. just about. It has you nothing now. to do Is with me being an Nigerian. Yeah, that's, you know? that's that's Ghanaian for you. Yeah. That's why I said that Ghanaians have um this trace of Western mm, life. Western life. life. Like, like like I have so you, you do any of the call police exactly they believe I, the police will I handle have, it once lived once lived in an apartment where we have like three neighbors mm. see we lived there for like two years or thereabouts for one day uh now if you see for good afternoon, mm. good afternoon you don't know you don't like that everybody is on yeah, their own right the only time we, we associate here a little bit with my neighbor <laughs> is maybe when your electricity you know that exactly. audience uh -huh. Or just finish, and you what want to happened? charge your phone, or, or maybe, or maybe something is wrong with the water. Something mm, is wrong. You, you, you just want to check: it. is your neighbor's light on, or eh. is it just me? Is it that? Uh, that's not the <laughs> they are reserved. That's they are the reserved. Word. That's the word. That's about that, in my own opinion, it's just time. I think yeah. what they do, uh, even yeah. the one that is difficult to penetrate, it, it takes, takes time. We find when they get to understand exactly. you, when they get to know that you are drama free. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. They will now exactly. associate and they are going to do anything exactly. for you. Mm -hmm. They will take bullet for you. Exactly. For me, as a Nigerian living in Ghana, a lot of families have been asking me, mm -hmm. Lily, mm -hmm. I want to move my wife and kids to Ghana. Is that you don't want me to come? Mm -hmm. uh, because I kept on telling them, guess what? I kept on telling them, what are you coming to Ghana to do? Mm -hmm. Please don't come to Ghana. <laughs> Stay back in Nigeria and you'll be fine because mm -hmm. there are no jobs opportunities here. Mm -hmm. So there, but are you surviving? Want to come? I said, it's my wife and the children that are coming. You, me, I'm staying back there to work and send the money. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to that 
to that family just speak maybe the man will be here or you know watching this video please one advice i will have for you as a nigerian coming to ghana as an africa coming to ghana unless you are coming to establish or unless you have a job like unless you have someone here who is already making the money and then when you come he'll put, put you through and the rest but aside that don't come <laughs> mm, right this is africa it's still mm. africa it's not like a western world where you are moving to canada mm. you you have the assurance that you're going to get a job it's still the same thing the same unemployment that we are fighting in nigeria you're still fighting it here mm -hmm. so you don't just move because you want to move or you want to or run because you see or other people are moving you exactly think it's, it exactly. Easy on YouTube. It, it, it might it might it might look easy for you and then mm. even the first month might be fun for mm. you right mm. but after the first month the reality would dawn on you like you you understand you that start going back exactly so see especially in accra i don't know about every other city this is the one i know that's why i'm always yeah <laughs> saying accra 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 like my husband say accra cry or cry so accra if you're in accra and you don't have any business you don't have any revenue like anything that is bringing income mm -mm, don't, don't come, come now especially this period a lot of, a lot of nigerians are sent mm. a lot of nigerians are sending their families back home mm. so that them the man can stay and hustle and send the money because mm. things are becoming so yeah, difficult expensive. so please if you want to move i will beg you make sure either you have a company here who is saying who, who is sending, sending you, your, your you work. they are yeah, sending you here they are, to come they are sending you to work or you already have your money like you have your mm. money and you have a plan of once i step into ghana i'm going to invest yeah i want yeah. i want a peaceful life exactly. i want to i have come, my money now i'm just looking for where to invest the money then you can come but aside this i won't advise you mm. to come okay okay yeah. because when i say don't come it's not because i, I it's said it's ghana is a bad place yeah it's all. not a bad place oh, it is 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 ghana happens to be that african country that gives you you know it gives you a chance to enjoy living life if you have the money if you have the money you understand if you have the, the money, money. Hmm. the money so what do you do on your own youtube channel what do you do tell us more okay on my youtube channel i share my life experiences in ghana living in ghana as a nigerian some cultural differences cultural shock different um, different in lifestyles a lot of things mm -hmm. and then I bring my family once in a while. My family, my daughter, Sha, not mm. my family, not mm. my Your family. I bring them once in a mm. while. Although my husband doesn't make appearance, mm -hmm. like in my, he just he, he can <laughs> enter my vlogs mm. and that's it. But my daughter, we are the, she's one of that channel, Sha. What was that? Some of the cultural shocks that you had okay. coming to Ghana as a Nigerian. <laughs> There are a lot of them, but I'm just going to go with the food part, right? Mm -hmm -hmm. Coming to Ghana and realizing that people have a way of eating egg with sauce. Mm. You know, yeah, I've never one is cat. Hey, God. Eh? Cat? cat in Ghana. Really, maybe you, you are used to cats in Yeah, cat I was born in the village, raised in my village, so cats. Uh, we <laughs> normal. Uh, up till up till now. See, let me. Mm. There's mm. one story. When but we, the, the ones in my village belongs to somebody else. They belong to somebody, but uh -huh. this one, they don't belong to anybody. Cats are moving on the streets. Like, the, something happened one time. So, in uh, we are buying suya from mm. from a um, suya seller or something. So, there are so many cats there. And I was like, I asked, I asked the man, are you the owner of these cats? He said, no, I don't know them. Mm. I said, eh? <laughs> You don't know this cat, so we are there. See, they are just coming here to eat. Like maybe mm. if I have a piece of meat, I can throw to them. I say, ah, ah cats. Ha! That one shocked me. Even up to now, okay. In as much as I'm adapting small, small, mm. but sometimes when I, you know, in, in my compound, mm. the gates they can they can penetrate exactly. under the gate. So yeah. they, sometimes they come in. So some days I would just come in and try to open the gate, and then I see a cat. Mm. I would say, ah. Then I will remember I'm in Ghana, I say, oh, yeah, 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 come Bingo. out. <laughs> <laughs> see, in Nigeria, once it's cut, it's hey. witches and wizard, but, yeah. Hey, when you see, you want to cast and bound, your pastor said, Bye. only for, I mean, I know you've seen <laughs> oil kind of stuff. That's <laughs> on your channel. Yes, so, tell us a bit about your channel, um, tell people to subscribe, to check you out. Please, subscribe to my channel, um, on my channel, there is nothing you will not see, as long as, if you are someone you want to know, how i'm coping in ghana like please subscribe to my channel amarachi duru 
okay i share my life experiences in ghana and i'm also um partaking in this vlogmas i mm. post videos every day Aye, it depends on when it the depends on when they are seeing this video but mm. <laughs> so i post video every day so you can share mm. yeah they you can, can check you, you out. can check my channel out okay thank you thank you thank you for coming <laughs> thank you thank so, so much, much. <laughs> you guys Lily is amazing really she has the kind of food that I first of all let me see the macro for you let me see the macro <laughs> <laughs> you're going to 